One day we were at Stewart Island, which is on the other side of the world. It is very cold there. We went to look at the underwater life in the harbour. And what did we see? Sea tulips and a scallop that hid in the soft sand of the seafloor. His camouflage was so good that almost no one could see him. The seaweed waved shadows over him. Contented, he tucked deeper in his shell house, closed all his eyes and fell asleep with a smile on his face. His tummy was full because he ate all the food and plankton that filtered through his mouth. But the scallop was having a bad dream that caused him to open his many eyes. His nightmare was true. Big sea star tried to sneak a ray between his shells. The starfish was hungry and the scallop is good food. The sea star's fat arms were very strong muscles. Scampy twisted and turned in his heart shell to shake the danger off. But sea star, who was about the size of the circle of a man's arms, was much bigger and too strong. The scallop was scared. Sweat burst from him in all directions. Scampy panicked. He had to escape. But how? Then he remembered his dad's stories. His dad often said that sometimes the hero would have to be really brave and super strong to overcome difficulties. Suddenly, he knew what he would do. He would use all his strength. Not just half a try. That would be a good plan. Determined, Scampy wiggled with all his strength to fight for his life. He tossed and turned with all his might. Surprised by the scallop's unexpected fight, the grip of the starfish slipped. Scampy took a deep breath and pulled all his muscles tight. Then he quickly took off, hopping, skipping and jumping as he clapped his shells swiftly and firmly. Fine sand flew everywhere as the scallop swam as fast as he could to get away. His fat scalloped belly barely touched ground as he kept on swimming to put a big distance between him and danger. Scampy was so glad when he saw his friends again. Dancing the zigzag, happy and relieved, he darted to them. This time, Scampy's reward for listening to his dad helped him to survive. Floyd Floyd, my story is out.